Welcome to TechnoFunk Functional Capsules. In these functional capsules, TechnoFunk provides you with compressed knowledge to learn key business processes in the context of information technology systems. These videos are useful for professionals who want to learn and improve their business process knowledge and functional skills. This video is part of a series to gain process expertise. These videos provide the fundamental understanding of business processes. If you want to take certification in a particular process area, please explore signing up for TechnoFunk Expert courses. In this video, we will explore the business process area known as fixed assets, also known as FA. Learning objectives for this lesson are Meaning of fixed assets process Subprocesses under fixed assets Process flow for fixed assets Key transactions fields and key roles Key setups and master data requirements Meaning of fixed assets an asset is a basic unit of economic value that is expected to provide benefit beyond a single period. The value of the asset is recorded on the company balance sheet. Examples of assets are cash, accounts receivable, inventory, prepaid insurance, land, buildings, equipment, trademarks, and certain deferred charges. There are two major asset classes, tangible assets, and intangible assets. Tangible assets are classified as either, current assets, or fixed assets. Current assets include, inventory and receivables, while fixed assets include, buildings, property, equipment, land, machinery, and equipment. This tutorial will focus on the class of tangible assets, called fixed assets. Subprocesses under fixed assets functional area. The process for fixed assets can be summarized in following steps. Procuring an asset. Registering slash adding an asset. Depreciating slash appreciating assets Transferring assets Adjusting assets Disposing assets Process flow for fixed assets process Fixed assets process can be divided into six sub-processes Procuring an asset Registering slash adding an asset Adjusting assets Transferring assets Depreciating slash appreciating assets Disposing assets These steps are cyclic in nature and most of them happen in any fixed management life cycle except for the ones shown in green. The green ones are optional steps, which may happen in certain business scenarios. Now we will understand each of these steps in detail. Step 1 is, procuring an asset. An asset is most often entered into the accounting system, when the invoice for the asset is entered, into the accounts payable, or purchasing module of the system. Assets can also be directly entered in the Fixed Asset Management System. Step 2 is Registering or adding an asset. Most of the information needed to set up the asset for depreciation is available at the time the invoice is entered. Information entered at this stage include Acquisition date, Placed in service date, Description, Asset type cost basis, depreciable basis etc. 
some information will flow automatically based on the asset type selected based on the relationships that need to be defined in the system. Step 3 is, adjusting the assets. Adjustments to existing asset information is often need to be made. Events may occur that can change the depreciable basis of an asset. There may be improvements or repairs made to asset that either adds value to the asset or extend its economic life. Step 4 is, transferring the assets. Sometimes a fixed asset is transferred to another subsidiary, reporting entity, or department within the company. These inter-company and intra-company transfers may result in changes that impact the asset's depreciable basis, depreciation, or other asset data. This needs to be reflected accurately in the fixed assets management system. Step 5 is, depreciating the assets. The decline in an asset's economic and physical value is called depreciation. According to GAAP, depreciation is an expense, that must be periodically reflected, on a company's books, and allocated to the accounting periods, to match income and expenses. Sometimes, the revaluation of an asset, may also result in appreciation of its value. Step 6 is, disposing the assets. When a fixed asset is, no longer in use, becomes obsolete, is beyond repair, the asset is typically disposed. When an asset is taken out of service, depreciation cannot be charged on it. There are multiple types of disposals, such as abandonments, sales, and trade-ins. Any difference between the book value, and realized value, is reported as a gain or loss. Key Transaction Fields Let us understand some key generic fields that are used in almost every system or during the fixed assets process. Asset Category Selection of Asset Category Enables inheriting the accounting properties of the underlying category. Asset Description Description of the asset or enter any notes. Purchase date, the date of purchase of the asset. Accounting date, date used to determine which period this posting belongs to within the general ledger. Starting date, determine which starting date the amortization is calculated for. Asset value, initial value of an asset. Usable life years or months to depreciate the asset over. Residual asset value, value of the asset at the end of the depreciation period. Depreciate, usually a checkbox to define if the asset needs to be depreciated. Depreciation type, the different methods to calculate depreciation. Depreciation start date date from which to calculate the depreciation postings. Depreciation amount, the amount of the initial value to depreciate. Depreciated value, field indicating how much of the depreciation value has already been posted to the general ledger. Depreciated plan, a field indicating how much value of the asset will be depreciated until the end of asset life. Previously depreciated amount, the amount that has already been amortized before the asset was entered into the system. Amortize, usually a checkbox to define if amortization is calculated. Asset amortization, tracking depreciation installments. Total amortization, field with the total amortization amount posted for a selected period. Accounting, specific accounting settings are for an asset. 
key setups perquisites. Some key master elements or setups that are perquisite to this process before transactions can take place in any UP or any other system. Asset category, selection of asset category, enables inheriting the accounting properties of the underlying category. Asset amortization, tracking depreciation installments. Accounting, specific accounting settings are for an asset. Depreciated plan, a field indicating how much value of the asset will be depreciated until the end of asset life. Key roles that are required to manage this process are Procure to pay, for asset procurement. Finance, this role manages assets in all aspects. Company admin used for configuration of certain elements thank you for watching this video you can download the presentation at www.technofunk.com users are free to download the material for their personal use only Commercial use is strictly prohibited without prior permission from www.technofunk.com. If you need copies of this material for corporate training or commercial use, please contact infotechnofunk.com for further details. Please share your feedback by writing to us at infotechnofunk.com or visiting www.technofunk.com.